welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm quickly going to be doing an intro because this video might be a long one as i've asked you guys on instagram if you guys have been interested in seeing my eyeshadow collection now i have said this so many times on my channel but i am an eyeshadow slut like i fucking love eyeshadow that's my favorite part of doing my makeup some days i'll just do like a brown in the crease but that's usually because i go to work and i don't have time to do like a half cut crease even though i would like to um in today's video i wanted to do a three-parter so i don't think i'll be filming all the parts today but i will be filming part one with these videos as always i've had multiple of these videos on my channel i'll leave a playlist up here and other video recommendations that correspond to my eyeshadows um and my collections because i have been doing my collections on my channels for like a bit now um so basically what i wanted to say today was that i am no in no way shape or form trying to show off my palettes to you guys it's just been highly requested can i speak english it's just been highly requested for me to make this video and honestly i feel like you know, it's nice to have it on my channel just in case you guys want to see my makeup collection. Now, this isn't really like my makeup collection. This is particularly just my eyeshadow drawers. So, I'm not trying to show off to you guys. I'm not bragging or anything. It's just a fun video. I like to watch these and you guys voted yes when I asked you guys on my Instagram poll if you guys would like to see it. If this is not your type of video, you're not... It's not your type of vibe. I completely understand. And feel free to watch any of my other videos. I have a ton of videos on my channel that you can check out. Let's just jump right into this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Before we jump in, make sure that you like, you subscribe, and you click your notification bell just so you guys are always notified when a bitch decides to upload because I'm not very consistent nowadays. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get right into it. So, this is my first eyeshadow drawer. I just decided to show it to you guys this time in the drawer because it's just a little bit easier that way. Um, you guys get to see the overall and, like, setup. So, I think that's a lot more helpful. So, let's get right into it. Okay, so up here, I guess I'll start in the middle since this is what you guys can really see. The first palette that I have here that you guys don't really see on camera is the Milk Cosmetics Gemini and this is what this one looks like. It's really really pretty. I love these greens on here. It has like a mustard, some olive colors, a black, and they are neutrals. This one I haven't gotten to play around with too much. Um, I just got the 27 palette as well. If you guys want a review on these, let me know. I know that I, this one was very limited. I'm not sure if it already was stocked or if it's restocking. This is the other owner of Melt Cosmetics and she created a very warm toned palette the reason i got this one even though it's very warm toned was just because i liked the more cool tones on this side and the very warm tones on this side i thought it was very unique and even though they are browns and we've seen a lot of these color similarities in other palettes i just thought it was gorgeous so i did decide to pick it up these are the pinky rose cosmetics uh palettes this one is center stage it's so pretty i love the colors i especially love this color havana and star this one i haven't played around with too much but i really did love the color story of it i thought it was very nice it is very neutral but to me it's a little bit more different it has like a twist so i really enjoy this one i believe it's 24 dollars or 26 dollars and i highly recommend it it does have different formulations you have your mattes you have your shimmers some metallics and then also like these glitter um finishes so i thought that's really nice and i love the packaging of this one Next is Bright Lights, and if you guys know me, you guys know that I love colorful eyeshadow palettes. This one is my baby. I love it so much. This is the Bright Lights, again, by Pinky Rose, and I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. It has three different glitter finishes in this one, Tickle, Dazzle, and Cupcake, and this smash color is literally my perfect lime green. It doesn't apply so neon and, like, greenish on the lid. It applies, like, a very beautiful lime color, and I love it. If you guys know me, I'm always on the hunt for it good lime green so i love this one i highly recommend checking it out it blends really nicely the shadows i really like and it's very affordable 24 dollars for those type of shades i feel like is very good 
Um, next, I have this one. This is the Naked Smokey. I know all of you guys are probably like, what the hell? But um, I did decide to pick up the Naked Smokey, even though I'm not crazy about the Naked palettes. Um, I just thought this one was really cool. I really like the very cool tones, and I feel like it's very unique. Even though there are a lot of dupes out there, I really wanted the original, and I did get it on sale at Nordstrom's. So, I really like this one. Haven't played around with it too much, but the packaging, dude, is gorgeous. I feel like it is so fucking bomb. Next is the Naked Heat. I'm sorry for blinding you guys with the light on my ceiling and then the lights, like my umbrella lights, but, you know, it's for good lighting. It's for good purposes. So, this is the Naked Heat. This one I really like. I love, especially in Fuego and Ashes. I still keep the brushes in here just because... Um, again, it is a neutral palette. Do you need it? Not really, not necessarily. If you have the Mel Cosmetics 27 or you have this one, you don't need the other. But the makeup collector in me just wanted it, so I decided to get it. Alrighty. The next one is actually my first one, and this is the Naked 2. I don't really, um care too much about any of the other Naked palettes. The Naked 3 is very gorgeous um, and so is the Naked but I just find like now the I just find that today I don't really reach for these eyeshadows in particular. I might end up decluttering this one. It's just I feel like it's already reached its prime but I love the colors in here. I think every time I swatch these two I just fall in love with it again but I haven't used this one in years so yeah that's that okay so next are my babies these are all of the Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes um I don't own like all of the ones before she came out with like the modern renaissance I own some of them but not all of them but as far as like the ones that come in this velvet packaging I do own all of them currently so the first one of course is the modern renaissance and this is what it looks like. I've shown you guys this palette in other um, eyeshadow collections. Again, it is very beautiful. It's still a staple palette. I don't think I'll ever get rid of it. I really do like it. Especially Venetian Red, Love Letter, Red Ochre, Rilger. They're just really pretty. I feel like this palette is just very unique. You need it in your collection. It's just very beautiful. And I feel like it can make a lot of looks. Regardless if it's neutral, it does have its pop of colors. So yeah. I really like this one but is it my favorite is it my go-to not really I much prefer the colors in the subculture so next is the subculture this one is what literally set off the whole entire makeup community I felt like so many people were arguing over this palette but I decided to buy it so this is what it looks like in all its glory. It is so beautiful. I love the shade Untamed and Axis. I just live for those shades. And Destiny. I don't reach for this palette all too much. Not even because I don't like the formulation. To me, I do think the formulation is very great. I just don't really reach for it. I do like to keep it in my collection though because I love the shades and this one, I think still gets to cake for like the best colors but that's just my personal opinion next is the prism palette and i love this one this one i haven't played around with too much i don't even know if i've used it the whole time i've had it but i really love the shade sphere and i really like the shade lore just seeing this palette really inspires me and i really liked it so that's why i decided to pick it up um, and I love the black packaging. A lot of people wish it just said Prism like the other palettes. But I guess because this one was limited edition and kind of like for the holidays. That's why they made it look a little bit different. Next is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. And this one is literally my favorite. I love the shades in here. I know that I'm a colorful person but... This one and Subculture are legit my favorites. And Arvina, but I'll show you guys Arvina in a sec. I just think this one is really, really pretty. I love the shades in here. And they're very, like, they're like these staple colors in here. You have Sienna, Burnt Orange, Orange Soda, and Dusty Rose. And I just feel like those are palettes 
those are colors that have been in various palettes and they're just like essential so this one I really like for like staple colors I think it's very nice and of course Anastasia's shadows are just really great All right, next is the Norvina palette. This one literally arrived in the mirror. Um, it literally got here today, and it is so pretty. I feel like the camera does not do it justice. I'm so fucking sorry. But I love the colors in here. As soon as I saw it, I was like, yep, that's going to be mine. And I remember it being like literally July 6th, and them announcing it was going to be releasing on July 17th. And the fact that it's already in my hands is crazy. And I love it. I love the color of the package. I just think it's so cute. Alrighty. So now that we've gone over those, we're moving on to Too Faced. Um, I think I've done Too Faced so much. Um, so I kind of don't want to show those just because I feel like they're hella basic. But these are the Too Faced palettes. I have a chocolate bar. I also have... The semi sweet palette. I have the chocolate bonbons, which is very cute. I have, um, okay, they're gonna start falling over. I have the sweet peach palette, which is literally my favorite. I love a sweet peach, I think, out of all of them. But then they came out with clover, and I think I like clover a little bit better than sweet peach. I just love the setup of these. I don't know. And then you have the white chocolate bar, which looks like this, which didn't do well in the markets, but I'm a collector, so I like to have it. And then the chocolate gold. So cute. Um, I'm just going to start putting these back really quickly, and I do keep them in the order that they came out just because I'm OCD like that. There we go. All right. So next I have the new Ace BU palettes. These are from their brand new Paradise collection. And if you guys saw my eyeshadow sure look at the beginning of this video when I filmed the intro, I'm wearing one of these palettes on my eyes today. So the first one is the Blossom Passion palette. These do retail for $30 each, I believe, a little bit more than $30. But if you get the whole bundle, it's like around $116. If you did order it with um, like the pre-order, then you would have paid a little bit less, which is when I bought these. But now that they're officially on sale, then you do pay like $116 if you want all four of them. Which I think is still a pretty good deal because you get them for a little bit more discounted. And you can also use an affiliate code with the bundle. So I really like this palette. I haven't gotten to try it out yet because I literally just got these in the mail. But I really do like the shades in here. I think they're all so pretty. And I can't wait to do a look with all of them. The next one is actually the one I'm using on my eyes today. So this is Slice of Paradise. I love a good rainbow moment. You guys know I live for them. So I used Honeyberry Macaw. Or Mac I don't know how you pronounce that, but this really pretty blue shade. And then I used a Fruit Dove on my eyelid. And this look is so bomb. This palette is so nice. I really love the formulation of them. And if you guys want to see a review on any of these, let me know. I will definitely have you on that. Alright, so next is Classical Paradise. This is what it looks like. It's just a very pretty neutral palette. It's kind of like a twist of a neutral palette. I feel like it's not necessarily as neutral as like a neutral lover would like. It's not definitely like browns and stuff. I feel like warms, but a different warm, not just browns, you know? They got creative, so. Love this one, that one's Classical Paradise. And then the last one is literally what everyone died over because everyone said this is what Norvina's palette should have looked like. But I kind of disagree just because Norvina literally picked out the colors she would use. And this is called, um, I believe, Paradise Fallen. This one is a very cold toned purple palette. Do I live for it? Hell yes. But I also like the Norvina one as well. But I love this purple row. I just think it's super cute. Alright, so the first palette that I have on this side 
is the Persona Identity Palette. This is so pretty. I love the shades in here. I believe I showed this to you guys in my Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. And it's just really cute. It's um, a mix between natural and cool tone uh, shadow colors. So I really like it. And I also like the variation of shimmers to matte. So I did pick this one up on sale. The next one I have here is the Element of Surprise by ColourPop. I've shown these on another video, so I'm not going to bore you guys. This one's really cute. I really do like this one, and I love this crease shade right here. Alright, next is the Kathleen Lights Dream Street. I did used to have these in like the order that they came out, but then I just kind of got them all mixed up. I really like Kathleen's palette as far as like the colors, but I haven't really gotten to use it too much. I don't think I'll use it at all. This is one of my faves. This is the Yes Please, but it says Cute AF on it. And this one is just a warm toned palette. Very cute. A very nice Natasha Denona moment. And then here we have Give It To Me Straight. And this one is just very pretty. Kind of like your cool toned mauve palette. And then we have one of my favorites actually. I love the colors in this one. This one is the My Little Pony palette. So cute. Love it. I love this shade right here and I love this shade right here. Okay, they're just getting all over the place. Alright, so this is the She palette. This one was in a collaboration with Karuchi. This is the Femme Rosa. And I really like them. I know a lot of people that have like switched the colors around. All four of these on the bottom are matte, but all the ones on top are shimmer. And then you have the I Think I Love You palette. This one was also a very good seller for them. It only has four mattes though. I think that's why I don't reach them. And also it's very neutral. But I do like the colors in here. I just don't reach for it that often. This is the ColourPop Double Entendre. Literally, I could stare at this palette all day. Even though it is neutral, I just love this palette so much. I think they did such a good job with it. It has more mattes in the I Think I Love You, so if you like more mattes and a little bit less shimmers, I definitely recommend this one. And I think I bought all of them when they were like $12 each. I, I can't remember. So this is the last one. This is the You Had Me at Hello. And this one's super cute. It has a lot more mattes. I feel like this one looks a lot like the Karuchi palette. So if you guys missed out on it, I think this one's still available. Next, we have, maybe you guys have already seen the packaging because they keep falling over. This is the Milani Gilded Desires. It does come with a mirror and it comes with all of these beautiful shades. You get some mattes, some shimmers, and two highlighters. And I've heard the formulation on this one is really bomb, so... I picked it up. Alrighty. Next is this one. These are the Beauty Treats Modern Mattes. I did do a Shop Hush haul with these. This one is just the neutral one. They come in a duo, so if you guys are interested, they both come together. I really like the shades in here. A little bit different cool tones. And the colorful shades in here are literally bomb. I love these shades so much. They're super affordable, and they're super good quality, so I recommend them. This is the Hard Candy um, Eyeshadow Pro Palette in the shade, I don't know, but this one's supposed to be like a dupe for like the Huda Beauty one. It's very cute. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep her. This isn't like a declutter or anything, but I already have the Huda Beauty one. I feel like I just bought this one to buy it waste of money I know but I don't really reach for it all right so next is this one this is the Soph X extra spice palette literally I love this palette the reds in here I haven't used this one because I already had one it just was broken and I they got, sent me a new one but yeah this one's really nice I really like the shades in here I feel like it's very unique I know it's like a lot of neutrals but I feel like the color choices that she used was really cool 
Um, and then she also came out with another one, which is this one, which is why I bought the extra spice because I love this one so much. This is what it looks like. And in this one, uh, they don't have shade names. That's why it comes with this little card thing. But I really love the shades in here. And then I did buy the Tammy X. So this is the Tammy palette. Her comes with shade names as well. Um, and this one looks a lot like the Kat Von D one. A lot of people were saying that. But I feel like um, they don't look that alike. I mean, when you really pay attention to the colors, they're not that similar. So, I love this one. I have used this one. It's really bomb. So, yeah. And I love the metallic ones. It's just that they get, like, super dirty. But, like, it's, it's cute. This is the Suva Beauty. I just love the colors in here. Every single time I look at the shades, I just die because they're so pretty. This is the Silver Beauty Cupcakes and Monsters palette. It is no longer available. It was a limited edition, but they are introducing new shadows to their brand. Um, and their Block Party palette, I believe it's called, comes out this week. I believe it comes out either the 30th or like the, I don't know, it comes out on Monday. I'm not sure if it comes out, yeah, it comes out on the 23rd and it has really great shades so if you guys want like a new colorful palette i definitely recommend that one i know i'll be picking it up but this one literally screamed to me i saw so many people use it and i decided to buy it i did buy it off of camera ready cosmetics and yeah i think it's so cute i'm not really too like keen on getting their like neutral one i might later on that one is still permanent but for now, I'm fine with this one. This is the Certify palette. This is their Tropical Wonders. So cute, right? It's just lovely. Brittany K uses this all the fucking time, and she always slays when she uses this. So I bought it. All right, so this is the Creepy Cute palette from Strobe Cosmetics. You live and die for this palette. I just think it's so cute. I love the shades in here. They're very pastel, but fuck, like, they're colorful. And I feel like you don't see a lot of people make palettes like this so i had to hop on the sale when it came and i think it's so nice so definitely love it then we move on to like one of my favorite eyeshadow formulations ever and these are from juvia's place of course you guys have seen this on my channel so many times this is the nubian by juvia's such a pretty neutral palette if you guys want a neutral palette i definitely recommend this one i recommend this over any palette i think it's awesome Then you have the Saharan by Juvia's, looks like this. So pretty. I love this palette. I especially love Sokoto and Hamila. I've used that on my channel before. Um, I just think they're so pretty. And then, oh fuck, I put it in the wrong order. All right, and then you have the Afrique. Afrique palette by Juvia's. This one just came out literally like two days ago i don't even know um and i saw the colors i gasped and then i came back to life and i bought it because it's really cute but yeah i love the shade um i can't pronounce a lot of these and i don't want to fuck them up because i know people will come for me and come for my throat so i'm just gonna say that this is a very pretty palette and when i do tutorials with this palette I will definitely just put the name on the screen because I will not butcher them. We will not accept any Juvia's Place slander. Alright, so next is the BH Cosmetics Festival palette. This one is so cute. I love this one. I just, I was so excited when this one came out. I love the shades in here. Super cute, super colorful. I just feel like anyone would be really happy with this palette. I feel like it's Take Me to Brazil, but with some neutrals. I don't know. It came around the time that Coachella was happening, and I just thought it was really cute. And it's like a piece of Coachella. Alright, so next is the Zoeva palette. This is the matte spectrum. And you guys know I love this palette. I think the shades in here are so pretty. Like, just, just wow. Just, just wow. Wow. I just think they're bomb. I love matte shades, so this one is definitely my cup of tea. And you guys can buy this on their website. Anyway, 
This is the Thirsty palette from Jeffree Star. I lived for this palette so hard when it came out. I just thought it was such a beautiful palette. I have not used it for some fucking reason. I cannot get myself to dip my brush into the damn stars. But I have swatched Luck. Uh, no, Lick. And it swatches so nice. But at the same time, I don't like the formulation of it. I don't know. It's kind of mushy. I don't know. It swatches really nice, but it's like weird. I don't know if you guys can see it in the pan. I kind of wish I didn't swatch the whole damn square. Alright, next is one of my faves. I love this palette. This is the Take Me to Brazil. And I did have the Take Me Back to Brazil, but I got rid of it. And when they came out with this one, I just liked the colors a lot more. Even though the Take Me to Brazil is still a very beautiful palette. I wish I would have kept it, but by now it would have been really old. Um, but this is the new one. So if you guys are interested in picking this one up, I do recommend it. I love the shades in here. I love this palette. I just, I don't know. It speaks to me. Alright, this one is from Face Candy. You can buy these, um, this brand on Hush. And this is the Wild palette. It was supposed to be a dupe for the Saint and Sinner palette. A lot of the shades that the Saint and Sinner had that were matte in here are shimmer. But I mean, the shadows are still very gorgeous. So, I kept it. Alrighty, we have two more palettes from this row. This is the Ciate London Chloe, Chloe Morello palette. This is her number two. I do have her number one. It's on that side. And this is what it looks like. I just love this palette. I thought it was very beautiful. You have like cool tones, some warms, some very nice like color shades, some warm tones. I just felt like she kept a lot in here but still made it like very like consumer friendly. I haven't really used this palette too much to let you guys know the formula though, but I like the colors in there. And then I also have the Venus XL by Lime Crime. Oh, I love the shades in here. They're so cute. I just, I love them. Alright, so this is the other row. This is my Pure palette. I have the Pure Visionary which looks like this. It's kind of like their purplish palette. That's my dog. I don't know if you see Milo. But yeah, this is the Pure Visionary. Super nice. Then this is the BoxyCharm one that they came out. I literally got a BoxyCharm just to get this damn palette. And I haven't used it, but I like the colors. This one I bought on Mercari, and it's literally one of my favorite palettes. I love this palette so much. This is the Soiree Diaries palette, and it's so pretty. Um, I love the um, shadows in here. I just, I think they're so cute. I use Twinkle on my eyelids all the time, and I love this um, on my crease, that uh, stunner shade. It's a little dirty, I'm sorry, but this I do use. I do like it. All right, next is my other ColourPop palette. I believe I have two more in here. This is the uh, ColourPop All I See Is Magic. This was part of their holiday collection. I like the setup of these palettes a lot. I don't know why they didn't keep these. I mean, I know it's a lot more shades, but I really like the way it was set up. I don't know. That's just me, but I really like them. I love the mattes in here, and the shimmers are so pretty. I think they're perfect for the holidays. I kind of wish they would have kept it as just like a permanent item, but it is beautiful. And then the ColourPop Golden, what is my pan doing? The ColourPop Golden State of Mind. At first I didn't really care for this, but then it was on sale for like forever. And I was like, might as well just complete my collection. So I ended up buying it while I was on sale. Then we have more like Hush related palettes. This is the Face Candy Atlantis. This palette was literally my dream come true because this replicates the Tarte palette that was a joke. I will insert a picture of that one as well but it's very similar not completely identical not like an exact like replica i find that some shades weren't included in here or have like a little bit more deepness or like you know different saturation in them but it is still very close and i like the shades a lot i just love blue so that's that <laughs> this is the bad habit solstice i ended up selling my natasha denona uh, sunset palette because I wasn't really into it that much and I ended up getting this one it's not like the best formula ever they are very powdery if you guys do want to dupe for it I definitely recommend 
this one. All right, and then this one I wanted a lot, even though I didn't want the Lila palette too much. This is the Supernova, and this is supposed to be a replica of the Lila palette from uh, Natasha Denona. It doesn't have many mattes in here, but I find the shimmers to be worth it, so I really like it. Next is the Bad Habit. Okay, see, now they're all going to start falling over. <laughs> Get your shit together. Alright, so this is the Bad Habit Dream State. This is supposed to be a dupe of the Fenty Beauty Galaxy palette, the one that she came out for the holidays. I wasn't too into that one. I'm not going to pay that much for an all shimmer palette, but this one I do like, and I find that they're really good as shadow choppers, so I decided to get it. Alright, and then next we have the Reina. Why do I say it like that if I speak Spanish? Anyway, this is the Reina del Caribe. This is the Alomar Cosmetics palette, and... It's so pretty, right? I think it's so cute. Um, this one I bought, well, this one I got in a BoxyCharm. And that's why I think BoxyCharm is so worth it because you guys get a bunch of palettes in there. And it's really good. It's 20 bucks a month. I know that some people can't afford it and it's not very nice for a lot of people that don't wear a lot of makeup. But if you're a makeup lover and you can't afford like going to Sephora and spending like $100, I find that like 20 bucks a month for like a couple makeup products is really cool. So. And they're really good. And there's brands that, like, you know, that you recognize. Uh -huh. And then this is the first, the one I was talking to you guys about earlier, the Cialte London. This is her first palette. Um, and this one I love. I really like the warm tones and the cold tones. And there's, like, some mauve shades in there. I just think it's very unique and a little bit of a twist from, like, your actual neutral palettes. So, I got it. And then this one is the Natasha Denona dupe from Bad Habit. This is supposed to be a dupe of the Tropic palette. This is the Fantasia. This one I definitely needed to get just because I thought the shades were so beautiful. I definitely wanted the Tropic palette, but I was not going to pay that much for it. So yeah, and here's a swatchy swatch of that ecstatic shade. They're just really pretty. I believe they're supposed to be like shadow toppers, not really like an all over shimmer. But I don't know yet. I love the packaging in this. Like, why can't, like, high-end brands do something like this? Alright, so next we have the Sample Beauty. This is your Colt palette. This one I love, guys. It's so nice. This is the Colt palette, again, by Sample Beauty. Like I just said, these shades are so pretty. And this gold shade is so pigmented. I know it doesn't look super pigmented. When you actually put it on the eyelids, it's bomb and i just love her formula i also have her other palette that just came out but you guys will have to see that one in my second video because this video is already too long Alrighty, okay let me just drop them this is the crown pro palette this is another one that was incorporated in the boxy charm and this is what it looks like it's all neutral shades but the formulation of this is really really pretty if you guys want a tutorial just using warm tones i'm totally down for that this one i think is perfect for the fall and i love this shimmer right here this is the two gems couture but they didn't put like the little name of it i don't know why i find that so funny but this is their two gems couture glitter shots that's why it's like written in sharpie um, this one's an all glitter palette. I just think these are nice to just keep in here. This one I did win in a giveaway. I didn't purchase. So that's why exactly um, I kept it just because I thought, you know, maybe in case someone wants glitter one day and I'm doing like someone's makeup or even if I just want a buff of glitter on my lid, then I have this. Next is one of my favorite brands. I love Blush Tribe. If you guys haven't checked out Blush Tribe, you guys definitely should. I'll leave their Instagram handle down below. I seriously love Blush Tribe so much, and I think she deserves so much more credit than she gets. This is her Hasina palette. This one is basically like her very colorful one, but she does have an also another one. I just like the shades in here a lot, and I think it's so pretty. And then this is like her warm toned, kind of like pinky toned one. This is the Malika. This is what it looks like from the art, and this is the Malika. Super pretty. I love it. All right, next uh, from those is the Beauty Creations Tease Me. If you guys definitely want like a very affordable bomb, like I'm talking bomb palette, I highly recommend getting the Tease Me one. 
the shimmers in here are just hella cool like let me swatch them for you guys you see that like they're so pretty wow i love this palette you guys can get it on shop hush i don't know if it's sold out right now but i highly recommend it then we have the Kavon D 10 year anniversary palette as soon as i saw this i was like yep i'm getting it like it's so cute um i do keep it in like it's original palette like though like in all its packaging just because i don't want it to get like scratched or anything but this is what it looks like so pretty every time i look at it i'm just like i fall in love again it's gorgeous and this one isn't a collective i have used it before it's just i'd rather keep it in like it's little safe you know this is the Huda Beauty uh, Rose Gold Palette. It is super pretty. I'm not, like, these shades are nice, but, like, they're supposed to, like, look wet. I don't, I don't really know. I love the mattes in here, though. Will I buy the Huda Beauty Remastered? I'm really not looking into it right now just because I think it's so expensive. And as far as, like, my thoughts on, like, the whole, like, remastered, I felt like if she didn't put out what she first originally thought was the best, she should have waited. I personally don't mind, like, seeing through or the formulation on these. Do I love these particular shades right here? Not really. Angelic is very pretty. Angelic is a nice one, but I love the mattes in here. The mattes are literally identical to the ones that are in the remastered, so it's kind of like I'm buying a double of this one so i don't really see the point um and i don't really reach for this palette anyways like that much i do love her huda beauty uh desert dusk this one is actually so beautiful i like how she incorporated more mattes in here and well actually i think she incorporated less mattes but i just like the mattes that she chose i think they're very different and i like them then we have more makeup revolution i think that's what we're gonna end up finishing with so this is the revolution pro these i believe you can only get on the uk site why is it scratched up the retailer that sells in the u.s doesn't carry these palettes so makeup revolution Re usa doesn't carry these only the uk website so if you guys are interested in ordering from the uk they do send you guys a new one i believe their customer service is really great they did send me a new one when my uh soap x palette broke so yeah but just know that like they do ship all the way from over there so are they going to become in like the great condition probably not um i know beauty addiction just said that her palettes came all smashed and mine's came all like scratched up so yeah i think they should definitely put them in a box if they're coming that far they did come in only like a parcel like in a bag and like bubble wrapped but this is the trans this is the revolution pro regenerations trans mischief mats i love this one i think it's so cute i just i saw it and i was just like you know what let me get it i mean there's not really like a lot of colorful palettes out there that have like every single color you need you know like a white an orange a yellow a purple a blue so i just thought it was really cool and i got it all right then is the revolution pro this is the trans mischief maker I have used this one before. Some of the shadows in here do look satin, but they actually do go on the eyes as matte. So it kind of just like depends. Some you can obviously the shimmer in. Obviously see the shimmer in, but others you can't. I have used like Deviant on my crease before, and I believe I used Intricate on my lid, but it's not like the most pigmented, which is kind of disappointing. But I do really like the palette and the shades, so. This is the Revolution Pro. This is the Trend Celestial. This one is just pretty cool because I guess they have like marble shades in here. I have opened it before so I don't know why I can't open it right now. So yeah, this is that one. It has a lot of marble shades and some neutrals in there. If I didn't mention it before, this is the celestial one. So yeah, I don't know. It looks really cool. And then this one is super pretty. This has a lot of corals and blues and this is the Trends Azure. It looks like this. As you guys can see, it has some blues in here and some corals and some neutrals so i just think it's very pretty and this volcano shade is so nice and then this is another like really neutral one i just didn't like any of the other ones that they had so i decided to pick this one up 
This one's like their um, kind of like mauve one, but it has a lot of neutrals in it as well. And this one is called Unleashed, so super cute, right? This one is so pretty. This is the Revolution Life on the Dance Floor. This is guestless, I don't know. But this one just has a bunch of coral shades in here and some plums down here and some warm browns. I just thought it was really cute and like the packaging. It's all glittery. And then they have this one, which I like this one a lot as well. This is the Life on the Dance Floor Sparklers. And I just like this one because it has a lot of pop of colors in here. So I thought it was really nice. And, you know, it's just great for when you use these and, you know, they're drugstore and very affordable. This is a whole overview of the whole drawer. But that is pretty much it for this eyeshadow collection video. If you guys did enjoy this video, even though it's super long, I hope you guys got like a snack or like a dinner while you guys watch this video but if you guys are interested in seeing part two and part three make sure to give this video a thumbs up and as well as subscribe this is a super long video but if you guys did make it to the end thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate you and like i said i made this video because a lot of you guys were interested in seeing more in depth like the eyeshadow palettes that i showed and in this one i actually opened all of them and showed you guys it is an excessive amount i know that um and it's just because i love makeup it's what i do um and yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you guys all in my next video bye guys